Say here, chicky, chicky, chicky. Where'd everybody else go? I'm here. I see you. I'm talking about the other chickens. Okay, y'all, we're testing out the kettle. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was. I thought it was gonna be like, you know, about the size of my, maybe just a little bigger than the French press, but here's the French press. Oh, sorry. There's the comparison. This is great. Look how it just blends right in with the countertop. <laughs> okay, so it says when it's done, the light will turn off, and this, I think this, will lift up. Okay, now we're boiling. This is quicker than the stove top. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Welcome to lunchtime, everybody. We're trying something fun today. Y'all have probably seen this before. It's where you take the tortilla shell. I don't even know what they're called. It's kind of like a quesadilla, but what you do is just cut the tortilla right there. Might need to go, I need to go up just a little bit farther. That should do it. Oh, that's perfect. Now we're making pizza ones, so we're gonna take some marinara sauce and put it right here and right here. Now pepperoni on top of the sauce. You want pepper jack? Yeah. Pepper jack cheese, Titus is here for lunch. So now we just fold it this way and then this way and this way. We put it on the pan and just brown it on both sides and it's done. Sissy wants mozzarella. This one's ready to flip. For the mozzarella, instead of shredding it, I'm just gonna cut it into thin slices. Hey, do y'all want spinach on them? No. Not for you. It's a no for me. You want spinach? Mm -hmm. Okay. And jama. And jama too? Okay. Oh, you want to go to the land of twisted trees? It's over here this way. This is what they call the land of twisted trees because these trees are all curvy and bent. So does anybody know what kind of trees these are? If you do, let us know. So this one starts here and it goes this way. Look at this. I see that. I'm trying to get up here. It's pretty wood too. Like it would be pretty wood to make furniture out of, it looks like to me. me. Sure. Yeah. Look. Up here. Yeah. Then there are little ones. I think those are the same kind of trees. I mean, they, they look exactly the same, but they're a lot smaller than this one. Little ones all down through there. And none of them are growing straight, so I'm just assuming that this is how they grow out to the side like that. Well, those two look kind of straight. They're going straight up. And that one got hopes. Hey, Quackers, where's Banana? Quackers is a very quiet quacker. He quacks very quietly we think he's the boy and we think banana is the girl if that's the case she is very loud banana is extremely loud whenever she starts quacking again i'll try to let y'all hear it i mean it is very you can't even hear him but you can hear banana in the house you can hear when she's talking out here <laughs> how did this cow get out of the pasture I don't know. he got out and came over here to the backyard playing basketball look he threw that basketball over there. We found Banana. She's in there with the chickens and Quackers went in there too. There they are right there. The sun's telling me it's almost time to cook supper, Manny. Oh, that's Tyler. Y'all, I was like, where is that music coming from? It's Tyler in the garage. And that's his truck. Now we have to go back in here to get the Instant Pot, right, Manny? Can you carry the top? 
Sure, thanks. Okay, for supper I'm making French onion chicken in the Instant Pot. Hello. Hello. All we need is boneless chicken, whatever seasoning you wanna use. I'm gonna use this roasted garlic and herb, one can of French onion soup, and French French fried onions. Now, is this a new pack? No, there's a little bit left in here. I also have some in here. You can totally add more stuff to this. I think I am gonna put some cheese. I have a little bit of Swiss cheese left, but we'll do that at the end. First, I'm just gonna slice up my chicken. I'm actually gonna slice it up into smaller pieces, like maybe even like some tenders, so that it's easier to get out of the pot. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on to saute and put just a little bit of oil in here. Okay, we almost have all this chicken in here and it is smelling good with that garlic and herb seasoning. It's uh, McCormick Grill Mates. We got it from Walmart, I'm sure. Which one was in Yeah, she came out. She's right there, I see her. They're out there with Ty. You always taking care of Sissy, huh? All right, so I browned the chicken a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit more of this garlic and herb seasoning on it. There we go. Now, we're gonna pour in. I'm gonna turn it off of saute. You're gonna get dizzy He's spinning around behind me. We're gonna pour in this whole can of French onion soup. I'm gonna try to go around the edges here so it doesn't wash off too much of the seasoning. Now we're gonna put in the French fried onions. I'm just gonna put all the rest of this package and a little bit of these. That's it, now we're gonna cover this and cook it on high pressure for just eight minutes because we've already cooked the chicken some while we were browning it and I sliced it into the tenders. All right, over here we're gonna make cream corn and some potatoes back there. For the corn, we're just gonna put in a couple of tablespoons of butter. I used all my butter that we made for, what did I use that for the other day? Was it for the cobblers? I need to make some more. Okay, so this is gonna melt down for the corn and then we'll put in some flour. So I have three bags of frozen corn. I usually have the big uh, two pound bag, I think it is, from Walmart, but these came from Aldi in their smaller bag. So we're gonna use three of those. I'm putting in about three tablespoons of flour. About a cup of milk. We'll mix this all together, and when it comes to a simmer, we'll add in the corn. You can use canned corn for this. Uh, we did it one time, and to me, it's not as good with canned corn, but it still works. This will start to thicken up and come to a simmer. Okay, now we put salt and pepper and then about a tablespoon of sugar. Now you do have to stay close by for this creamed corn because it will start sticking to the bottom if you're not careful. As soon as it starts melting, I like I can feel, not melting, but you know, I can feel that the corn is thawing. I turn it down to simmer. Okay, now I'm just gonna slice up the potatoes. They won't take very long once this starts to boil. I'm gonna cut them pretty small. Potatoes are really good this way. You put a little butter and sour cream on them. I got a really good deal on potatoes at Ingles the other day, y'all. They had a big 50 pound bag for just $17. Right now, five pound bags are close to $5. I got that 50 pound bag and I'm gonna see how long it lasts us. I'm pretty sure we'll go through them before any of them start to go bad, but if they do, we'll just go ahead and make them somehow, however we wanna make them, shred them for hash browns or mash them or whatever. We'll do something with them and put them in the freezer. Okay, now I'm gonna put the top on my corn and bring it to a simmer. This French onion chicken is really good, y'all. It's pretty much just like French onion pork chops, only chicken instead of pork chops. All right, y'all, the chicken is done. We're gonna put some Swiss cheese right over the top, and I'm just gonna put the top back on to let the cheese melt. I did take out some of the liquids. Now we'll just put the top back on and let that melt while we're waiting for the potatoes. They still have a few more minutes. 